Hello and welcome to Built and Deployed, a technical video series for cloud architects. My name is David Russell. I'm an architect on Oracle's cloud engineering team. I'm thrilled to be here today with David Reed, Director of Infrastructure at Boathouse Farms. We're here to talk about how David and his team are helping the company respond to sudden market changes by analyzing ERP data and managing its applications on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. David, can you take a few minutes to walk us through the architecture you're using today on OCI and talk about the business and technical advantage behind the design? So our, our architecture it was designed with really two aspects in mind. Um, first off, it was to ensure that we had high availability. So as I walk through this, you'll see that we have uh, multiple uh, fault domains set up. So and then um, to help support high availability throughout the business. And then the second component that we were really concerned about was ensuring that we had uh, disaster recovery fully built into this as well. Initially, our, our users come in um, through our own internal network and connect into OCI. That is, we actually have dual connections, again, for the high availability. We have a fast connect, direct connection set up to OCI, and then we have a redundant VPN connection, and we can move back and forth as, as we need to. Once people get into the OCI environment, they go through a dynamic routing gateway and they go into a load balancer. And that will push both people into both fault domains across our, our application servers and across the uh, display layer as well. And then that all goes into a, a single database, a uh, single database instance that we have. So effectively, if anything happens to any of the equipment as we go through here, it is able to dynamically and quickly fail over to the other environment. Once we get out of the ERP environment, we have in our OCI, all of our data visualization, all of our dashboarding and all of our analytics that we've also moved into OCI. And that is allowing our executive teams and, and quite honestly, people all up and down the chain within, within our company to have real time dashboarding and analytics capability across everything we do. Why did Bolthouse Farms decide to move these ERP analytics workloads to the cloud? The reason we moved everything into OCI, uh, there were a couple of drivers behind that. Um, I, I think the single biggest piece that we had out there is it gives us a dynamically scalable environment. Uh, in, our, in our legacy ERP environment, uh, we were very uh, hardwired into exactly what we had. If we wanted to expand or if we needed to contract, it was, it was next to impossible to be able to do that. Uh, the beauty of the Oracle Cloud infrastructure is we've been able to add more resources on the fly as we go through the busy portion of our season. And then um, we've actually been able to scale that back down. So we're able to quickly react to changing business needs and yet still be fiscally responsible by uh, having only what we need available to us. Another question is why did Boathouse Farms choose the primary and disaster recovery region in the design this way? The, the reason we built our disaster, disaster recovery environment in this way was, was twofold. First of all, we wanted to certainly have it geographically separated. So we are primarily on the West Coast, but we have our disaster recovery on the East Coast. And that keeps us isolated from any sort of you know, uh, geographic type event uh, affecting our ability to process. The other part was our DR is actually set up as a warm DR site. We are replicating data in real time. We are also replicating um, all of our objects in real time through our sync. Uh, but on that receiving end in Ashburn, Virginia, we are um, we have a warm site. We have everything spun up, but we have next to nothing actually running. And that keeps our recovery, uh, recovery time objective very short for us. Another question, how did Oracle Analytics Cloud and ADW change your analytics platform compared to what it was before? One of the big challenges our executives have is the ability to uh, review and analyze data as they're on the move, when they're actually out and about traveling across the country, meeting with, with customers and um, other partners of ours. So the ability to be able to access that data from anywhere at any time is, is incredibly valuable to them. 
The fact that we're also replicating all of our data through the Golden Gate cloud services in real time means that they have, they literally, a, a salesperson or an executive could be meeting with a customer and they could know instantaneously, oh yes, your order shipped five minutes ago. Um, so that, that real time visibility to what's going on and the ability to make decisions based upon that data, incredibly valuable. Last question for you, Davey. What's in the works for future deployments on OCI? The scalability for OCI has been so valuable to us that we're looking to bring more and more of our transactional systems into the OCI environment. Our warehousing solutions, our transportation solutions are, are on the near roadmap. And then the other great part is there is a whole suite of Oracle products out there for us uh, that will help us be even more efficient in our business that we can also bring into the OCI. Things like demand planning, supply planning, production scheduling, uh, a lot of a lot of um, best of breed type solutions that will just make us more and more efficient and more and more profitable. This has been Built and Deployed. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more technical conversations with OCI customers.